right, so before I get into this video, guys, I just want to say a massive thank you to you all. I'm actually full of a cold at the moment, but I hit 300 subscribers like a week ago, and I always looked at it as literally it would take me a year to gain 100 subs because that's how it's been on every channel I've ever took part in. And I went to 400, I hit 400 today. So in the space of four days, I gained 100 subs, which is absolutely unbelievable. Um, especially for a channel like mine. Obviously, I know big YouTubers hit 100 subs like every minute, but you know, that's different. We all start somewhere. But because of that, um, I had to think straight away, what can I do for a 400 sub special? So, on my birthday, which those of you know is the 23rd of April, um, I have actually, I'm gonna be getting some cool wrestling stuff, um, and I'm gonna be showing you that, that stuff. Um, I'm gonna, for a little hint, I'm getting a new belt. Um, I'm not telling you which belt, but I'll tell you for a fact, you can't buy it on WWE Shop anymore. It's old. Um, and then some other stuff I'll be buy I'll should hopefully be getting as well. So without further ado, let's get into my superstar shakeup predictions. What is up guys? It is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling, and today I am bringing you my WWE Superstar Shakeup Predictions video. So, ladies and gents, as we know, the week after WrestleMania every year for the last few years has had a superstar shakeup. It's basically the WWE draft, just a bit condensed. So, obviously, SmackDown and Raw have their own two rosters, and the product gets a little stale. We all know that. We go for a year with certain people on the roster, the product gets the stale, we get the same matches over and over again, um, and we just get tired of it. And WWE obviously knows that. So what they do is they give us the superstar shakeup so that we can shake things up. So that superstars from SmackDown can then come onto Raw and they trade. So what I'm going to be doing for you guys today is my superstar shakeup predictions. What I think should happen, what I think's going to happen, even if I don't agree with it 100%, I feel like WWE might do it. So without further ado, let's get into my first shakeup. My first superstar shakeup prediction is the Usos. The Usos have beaten every SmackDown team there possibly is on SmackDown Live. The Bar, um, Shane McMahon and The Miz, The New Day, you name it, they've beaten the Bludgeon Brothers even. And <laughs> it's getting stale, if I'm honest with you. The Usos need to shake things up a little. Their character isn't getting stale. Their matches aren't getting stale, it's just their stories that are. So they can't keep going up against the same people doing the same stories and expecting us to stay invested. It's not going to work. They have just literally last week dropped the SmackDown Tag Team Championships to the Hardy Boys, Jeff and Matt, which makes me think that they are heading over to Monday Night Raw. It makes me hope that they're heading over to Monday Night Raw because that division is shitty at the moment. There is literally nothing going on in the Raw Tag Team division other than the main like rivalry, which is Kurt Hawkins and Zack Ryder, the Major Brothers, versus The Revival. And I can't see that going on for too long. Um, and the reign of Zack Ryder and Kurt Hawkins has to end soon, I'm pretty sure. And I believe the Usos can go over and do that straight away. So Jimmy and Jey Uso, you're heading to Raw. On to my next So one. my next prediction for the Superstar Shake Up is Bobby Roode. We saw a bit of an inkling of a heel turn on Raw. Um, Gable wasn't very into that. Roode sort of was like, you know, very turning heelish but G Chad Gable was like I'm not a fan of this like his face didn't say that he was he wanted to be part of that and Bobby Roode if you guys don't know is an amazing heel look at his work in TNA from in like 2011 when he had long hair um, look at his work in NXT for Christ's sake just a few short years ago and oh my god can Roode get people to hate him and it's amazing but ever since he's been on the main roster he's been baby faced the whole time He's won the United States Championship. He's won the Raw Tag Team Championships, but that's about it. He's like not even in the mid card anymore. Like I don't even consider Bobby Roode as a big name in WWE anymore. He is well, no, he is a big name, but people say Bobby Roode and he's just looked over nowadays, which is is wrong. It shouldn't be happening. Roode's amazing and it should be noticed. So I think Bobby Roode is going to go to SmackDown Live. He's going to attack Kofi Kingston straight away, going to shake things up, and we are going to have Kofi Kingston versus Bobby Roode for the WWE Championship. I think Kofi should win, 
and then um, you know feud with some other people. But eventually, Bobby Roode should become the WWE champion. My next prediction to go from SmackDown Live to Monday Night Raw is The Miz. The Miz had a feud with Shane McMahon, obviously had the Fool's Count Anywhere match at WrestleMania. And honestly, um, The Miz is sort of a bit... Now this feud with Shane's done, it's sort of a bit like, well, what now? So I think send him to Raw, see what happens on Raw. The Miz is an A-lister. He's a great performer wherever he goes. He's been babyface now. Maybe see him go back to being a heel. Um, that's where he works best, even though he works great at both. But this babyface run, compared to his run in 2014, has been really good. He's been a really good babyface, so he's proved that he can do whatever he's given. And yeah, give The Miz something to do, send him to Monday Night Raw, and let him compete on Raw. But yeah, that's basically all I've got to say about The Miz, just send him to Raw. On to the next one. The next superstar on my list is Randy Orton, the Viper. Had a match against AJ Styles at WrestleMania, came up short. Um, and, you know, Randy has been on SmackDown since the brand split. Since 2016, Randy Orton has been on SmackDown Live, and he's won the WWE title, he's won the United States Championship, and he's won the SmackDown Tag Team Championship. Since being on SmackDown Live, Randy has won every single championship up for grabs on the show for the men. And it's time for a change again. Randy should go back to Monday Night Raw. I would love to see a Universal Championship feud with Seth Rollins again. Those two, those two proved in 2015 that they can have great matches. Yeah, I think Randy Orton should go back to Monday Night Raw just to literally, you know, shake things up a little, no pun intended, because he's been on SmackDown Live for three years now, and it's time for a change. On to the next. Now, my next person to go from SmackDown Live to Monday Night Raw is the phenomenal AJ Styles. AJ Styles is the wrestler that screams SmackDown Live. If you look at AJ, you just see SmackDown. So, he's been WWE Champion for one of the longest reigns in recent memory. He's been the United States Champion. There's no reason to put AJ in a tag team. He's probably only got maximum about five years left. So, why not put him on Raw? And me saying maximum five years left, that's not because of he's losing, like, he, he's not performing as well as he used to. He's still putting on great matches, or, well, he's still proving that he can put on great matches. Whether he's being allowed to or not, I don't know about that. That's backstage politics. But AJ is still phenomenal, and him leaving would be 100% his choice. Um, he probably would want to, like, if he didn't have a wife and kids, I wouldn't be surprised if AJ wrestled until, he like, the day he died. But... AJ should go to Raw. He's never been on Raw other than like when he was initially called up, but he was only on Raw for a few months at that point, and he was still green as grass to WWE. So, I think AJ should go on Raw. Maybe not go for the uh, Universal Championship, but maybe he can go for the Mid-Card Championship at that point. They may Just something to do, because AJ's been on SmackDown, and he's beaten everyone on SmackDown, and his final person to beat was Randy Orton, and he's gone and done that, so send him to Raw. And my final prediction for SmackDown Live to go to Raw is Samoa Joe. Now, Joe has been on an absolute rampage recently. He won the United States Championship from R-Truth in a fatal four-way. He absolutely destroyed Rey Mysterio at WrestleMania. Clearly only because Rey's still injured, but never mind. So, that happened, and... Yeah, Joe should just go to Raw now. Um, he's the United States champion. There's a lot more competition on Raw. Everyone on SmackDown, the people they use, they either put in the United States Championship like puck title picture like Andrade, Ray, R Truth, or they put them in the main event. People like you know Daniel Bryan, AJ Styles, or if not, failing that, they either leave them in catering or throw them in a tag team. <coughs> Shinsuke Nakamura, but it's sort of just one of them things. Where even though Raw doesn't use it, the WWE in general aren't great for using their talent. Um, they hire a load of talent and then they only use some of it. But I think to really shake things up a little, the United States Championship hasn't seen Monday Night Raw since 2016. Um, we thought it was going to be put back on Raw last year when Jinder went to Raw, but Jeff Hardy beat him and went to SmackDown the next night, but it wasn't. And I think now is the time for the United States Championship to be back on the red brand. Now, before we move on, ladies and gents, I just want to address the women. So, I don't have any women's figures, that's why they're not in this video, but that's not the main reason they're not in this video. The main reason is because I believe that WWE are unifying the women's divisions, uh, Raw and SmackDown, and it's just going to be the women's division, not a specific one. The champions and the both all the women are going to show up on both Raw and SmackDown, so that's why they're not in that. Right, let's get that out of the way, and let's move on to my Raw predictions.
Now, my first pick to go from Raw to SmackDown. Quite frankly, I don't want this to happen. I'm one of the few that doesn't actually want this to happen. But we saw a sneak peek of it last week on SmackDown when he joined the bar. It's the, the literally the faction man himself, Drew McIntyre. He's been in so many factions and for Christ's sake in trios, like literally 3MB, the Dogs of War, Baron Corbin and Bobby Lashley, now Sheamus and Cesaro. For Christ's sake, this man is a singles star. Let him be that. Um, but Drew, I feel like he's going to go to SmackDown. Um, as much as I think he should be a dominant force on Raw, and Drew should... I really wanted to see, if I'm honest with you, um, I'm 100% happy that Seth is the Universal Champ, but I, I, maybe at the Royal Rumble, I wish I would have seen Drew McIntyre versus Brock Lesnar. That would have been awesome. But hey-ho, you can't always get what you want. Drew McIntyre is my first prediction. My next prediction to go from Raw to SmackDown is the Monster Among Men, Braun Strowman. Now, Braun has literally battered everyone there is on Raw. Why doesn't he just go to SmackDown and absolutely destroy everyone there as well? I mean, he can be booked as a, a legitimate monster on SmackDown. And although we saw the whole Samoa Joe thing... I think that was just a swerve to make us think that the US title is staying on SmackDown and Braun's coming over, when, as a matter of fact, I believe that it's either going to be one or the other, not both. It's either going to be Braun goes to SmackDown and Samoa Joe, or Samoa Joe goes to Raw. That's literally it. Um, I don't think we're going to get to see the Braun-Joe matchup just yet. But anyway... Braun Strowman, Monster Among Men, joining Drew McIntyre. This is another one that I'm a bit iffy on. I've always seen Braun as a Raw guy, but at the same time, you think about it, he has he's literally beaten everyone up, and he didn't win the Uni Universal Championship from Brock Lesnar. He got absolutely destroyed, so what is there left to do? Why not go to SmackDown and fuck shit up over there? Next up on my list to go from Raw to SmackDown. Now, this guy, I know he's on a break. Dolph Ziggler, ladies and gents. He's on vacation. Uh, he's taking a break from WWE. A little hiatus, I believe he called it. Um, but Ziggler hasn't had a good run these last few years. Obviously, he was Raw Tag Team Champion with uh, Drew McIntyre. And obviously, as you see here, this is the Dogs of War trio. Um, and that didn't go so well. But then he had a bit of a face turn, which was more of a tweener run, where he got his ass whooped by Drew McIntyre. Then he came out in the Royal Rumble, um, and after that he took his holiday. And I believe that it's time for if for Dolph Ziggler to come back to SmackDown Live as a babyface. Um, I don't believe that he's going to go for the WWE Championship. I don't believe he's going to go for a championship at all at the moment. The thing is, I want this to work out where Ziggler eventually either wins the main title or doesn't win any championships at all. He's been an Intercontinental Champion multiple times. I don't want to see Dolph with a mid-card or a tag team championship. It's either the big one or none. I'd rather see him not even be the guy to put people over. Just one of the guys that's considered a, like, a good mid-card wrestler that you can watch his match and think he'll win. But at the same time, I don't know what role you would consider him to play. He's going to be putting on great matches, but not always putting guys over. But anyway... I think that Ziggler is going to SmackDown, if he's even shows up at all, we don't know yet. My next pick to go from Raw to SmackDown is the obviously the Intercontinental Championship, Finn Balor. Now if the United States title is going to Raw, the IC title obviously has to go to SmackDown. We haven't seen it there since 2016, um, obviously the Miz and Dolph Ziggler were the main two that held the white strap while it was on the blue brand. Um, and it would be quite a nice little change to see the Intercontinental title back on SmackDown. People like Andrade can hold it. Um, you know, Andrade maybe. People like, you know, just, there's just mid-carder people on SmackDown Live that deserve the Workhorse Championship. Maybe even Rey Mysterio if we're talking about, you know, just stuff like that. People that deserve a championship. But at the moment, I'm happy with it on Finn. I don't want to see him lose it until at least after SummerSlam. So, that leaves us down to our final, final superstar shake-up prediction. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as you all know, SmackDown is going on Fox later this year. 
and Fox want it to be less sports entertainment, more sports, more serious, which is what us WWE fans have been craving for nearly, a, yeah, over a decade. So that time has come and they, Fox, have asked for two people specifically, Ronda Rousey and this guy. The final person I believe is going to show up on SmackDown Live. We thought he was done with WWE, maybe not. The Beast Incarnate. Brock Lesnar. How is Finn still standing? I believe that the beast, Brock Lesnar, there, there you go, is going to be on SmackDown Live. Maybe he's even going to feud with Kofi to keep that underdog Kofi Kingston storyline going. That would be quite interesting, only if Kofi came out on top. But it all depends. Brock's obviously not going anywhere anytime soon. He's either going to not show up on TV at all. I don't think he's going back to the UFC. That's all sort of gone up in the air. Um, and Brock has no other option. I mean, he can retire, honestly. He's made so much money. He doesn't need to stick around. But if the price is right and Vince says, you know what, we'll give you a load of money if you want to do this, Brock will do that. So I believe Lesnar's going to be on SmackDown on the Superstar Shake-Up. If not, he will be on SmackDown at some point when the Fox deal goes ahead. But that is my Superstar Shake-Up predictions, guys. Let me know if you agree with them. Let me know who you think's going where in the comment section down below. Are we going to get any NXT call-ups? Maybe people like Buddy Murphy from 205. Maybe Pete Dunne from obviously NXT. We don't know. Let me know in the comments down section down below. I have only done Raw and SmackDown, but we don't know if this is going to work differently on TV. If you did enjoy this video, please be sure to give it a like, comment and subscribe. I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. Thank you for 400 subscribers and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.